<sighs> okay, so first video, um, doing something extremely different on NBA 2K20. Now, before we get started into this video, I just want I just wanted to let you guys know that this is yes the third and final three P type of videos, uh, three straight videos within a day or so. Okay, now luckily apparently. Um, I don't know if you guys will see this another day or so, but if you guys do, then I do apologize. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So, um, right now, let's get right into the video. So, first things first, um, keep in mind that this, since this is a launch video, apparently I do have a selection of, like, stuff, a, a selection of clips th throughout the video. So, I will have a certain timestamp, I will have some sort of timestamp. To be posted on down below there in the description so if you guys want to see a certain section of me um talking a lot if you guys want if you guys don't want to see the entire video as a whole then um look down below in the description it will be there just for you and um don't mind about the corn conquer and the big top clips these are clips from like the other day a few days ago so don't worry about that right now um i do want to get into the five things i do like about this video um despite it being trashed there's a few things I do like about the game itself. Not a lot, though. One has to be the improvement in the animations, okay? Because um, the dribble animations, let's say, I know you guys really don't agree with me. Some of you guys really don't agree with this decision, but this is obviously my opinion. I also want to point that out. But, um, yeah, the animations do look kind of nice. I mean, not as solid as uh, 2K19, in my opinion, because there are quite a number of solid animations they took out in this game. I really wanted to um, store it back, and um, yeah. Thing number two, of course, it's going to have to be the um, presentation. Well, that doesn't really count. It doesn't make sense either, but I'm still going to put it out anyway. It's a presentation. I think they took a big step in the direction for the um, presentation. Now, I know it's not really a big thing in the game, because, you know, you guys really don't pay attention to the presentation too much. Though, at the same time, I just decided to put it in here either way because, you know, it's my honest opinion. Number three has to be um, the event schedule. That's right. The event scheduling is pretty solid. Of course, you guys um, have a huge scheduling um, for the events coming very, very extremely soon. Now, apparently, the thing is, I really don't like how the way Puma Mini has been treated. Of course, we only have, like, once at the very first half of the year, like, it's a... A big thing or something, but we wanted more Puma Mania. We wanted to extra rep. We wanted, we want to ex, we want to rep up extra. Okay. Though so that's my only complaint with that, but I will save the rest of the cons later on in the video. Thing number four has to be the rep system. That's right, the rep system. I like. I'm not gonna lie. I like the rep system in this game a lot. Though that doesn't mean it's the best rep system. So 17, 16, 15, whatnot. Okay. It's still not the best. Rep system so far. We have had a rep system since pretty much. The World to 99 did kill him and rent him a little bit, and I do like that, so I'm kind of glad. So the rep reward is a little bit of a problem, more than a solution. So if I do want to get out of that, but right now, I'll say that. And then lastly, number five is going to have to be the equality of the My Park. Okay, the equality of the My Park is pretty so solid, but. It's going to be a little bit of adjusting afterwards, so therefore I will save that for later on. Right now, so yeah, those are my five things I like about the game. Right now, we're going to get into the actual cons. There's tons of them, so keep in mind, bear with me. This is all my opinion. Let's go. First off, let's start off with the My Park. My Park. Why? Every time I come here, it always has to be this packed. Like, why does it really have to be this packed, especially on the weekend? Like, can you imagine this? Like, 2K, you have a better job to do, okay? Like, can we separate servers from other people so we can play peacefully? Like, I can't even find a game out here. Why does it overall have to move so much? Basically, depending on how you play so far. Either if it's my career, my park, or my team. Like, next year, can you please make it over on permanent the next time you play the game? Like, please. Why does this even exist? Like, I haven't won anything. It says I want to book at twice. I didn't, I didn't win Court Conquer once, but at the same time, still, I want Dunk Fest. Like, I want Court Conquer again. Like, how? Do, like, how is this a thing? Why is this a glitch on here? I haven't even played all these events. Like, what? And 2K, please, stop trying to overprice all the microtransactions. Like, are you serious? Like, look at this. $20 for 75,000 VC. 
fifty dollars for two hundred KVC. Why do we need to spend this much money on a video game? How come this dude supposed to even have a skateboard? Like, whoa, this dude has not even joined it yet. Hold on there, Mr. Blue Man. Post 3, you're not slick enough at this one. 2K, try to even the pack odds a little bit. Now, I know I don't play my team that much, but still, though, try to even the pack odds a little bit. Like, look at this. You gave me an Amethyst plus a Diamond in one pack. Like, am I supposed to be excited about this? Bro, who is this dude, bro? Oh, look at 2K. He's trying to give me a free Diamond card at the end of the year. It says TK20 is going to die soon. Like, do I... Am I supposed to care right now? I do not care if I got a look at Dante, bro. I really do not care whatsoever. Look at this real quick. I have a pink Diamond score, right? On triple team. I'm oh, sorry, triple threat. Look at this. How come I get evenly matched? Well, I know the pink squad, dude. Like, bro, the matchmaking is so irritating. Like, even if I lose, it continues to get more irritating. Why separate the nominations by three? Like, I barely played this mode, too. Even though you had the current teams, then the historical teams, and the all-star teams. Like, bro, why? That doesn't even make sense at all whatsoever, 2K. They had to fix this and patch this ASAP. Check this out. The community pool has got to go, okay? The locker code is going to be to see, like, check this out, okay? Here's an example. I picked this guy, right? But at the end of the day, check out what they gave me afterwards. As soon as I picked this guy. They gave me three times the tokens. I don't want three tokens. I don't want the actual card. And this has to be, if not, my major issue. Check this out. I used to have, look, I had 260 overall players right now. I have my point guard still. When the corrupted files ended up on my system, they took away my small forward. And not only that, I can't even play my small forward. Like, why? Why would they do that? Bro, do I really care about 2K TV so far? Like, why would they show us every single time when you play in my career? Like, they just have an option back at 2K19, you know what I'm saying? And you can turn off 2K TV before you load my career into a my career game. Like, why did they take that off the game? Like, I don't get that. Like, I really don't get that. I don't get that. Do I really have to see these two on screen when I try to play a my career game? Like, get off of my screen, LD. And whoever this dude is, no disrespect, though. But I really do not care about seeing you both on the same screen at the same time. Like, please, get off my screen for... Goodness sake. And they even find us even one of these trivia questions. Like, bro, nobody's going to fall for that. Once you answer these questions, you're going to get just VC. Like, if there's Galaxy Opals for a trivia question, why not get a Galaxy Opal for answering that question? Like, can we agree? Like, seriously, can we just all agree at that point? All right, one more thing about this loading screen, okay? This is going to be my major problem right here. You, you're just going to see it with your very own eyes, and so am I, okay? Look at this. Check this out. To the black screen, fading to black. Once they are done, they are fading to black, taking me somewhere for like a couple of seconds. And guess what? Why a cutscene instead of just having to be in the locker room and then you're into the game? Like, why is this not in 2K20? Why is it no longer in the game? Like, why did it take it out? Like, is it because we just wait too long? Like, look at how 2K19 does it. Like, seriously, look at this. To me, this, they did it perfectly. They done it so perfectly. When there's no fading the black screens twice for a couple of seconds, where you just go in the locker room and they're after your teammates. Simple as that, okay? And then not only that, you can hit the nap button by pressing triangle and Y on Xbox, and you're back to the neighborhood. Even if you don't want to complete the game, even if you missed something, if, if you forgot something, I'll just go back to the neighborhood. Like, how hard is that? If TK implemented this, then I would not put this on my list. Here's another thing. Why have a My Player Nation, if you win the finals with that exact team, why not get a reward? Like, there's only one big thing missing. We need a reward. Like, can TK just give us something for free if we complete the entire season with that exact team? Even if you make a new player, which I know don't make sense. But even if that new player played a little bit of the playoffs and that player gets rewarded, or you just could get rewarded all at once with your new and the other players at the same time all in one team? Like, come on now. 2K, if you know we're not going to play this, why is this golf such a thing? Like, look at this. Look how many this golf places you put on the park, especially on this one location in the very back. Like, why do we need this so bad? We're not even going to play this. We already know we're not going to play this. We haven't even touched this since the game even first came out, especially TK19. And why give us a stupid, overly cheap price hot dog store, even if you're not going to eat at the hot dog diner place? Like, can we not just go inside? And same thing goes with this ramen noodle place. Like, why put this in the game, 2K? Oh my goodness, yes, this is so 
completely stupid. Oh my goodness, this is why I cannot take this game serious. If we only knew that we're not playing the cages so far this year in the game, why put this back in the exact same game? Like, take this out, bro. This ought to be the dumbest thing that I've ever done. Why put the ATM machines in this stage where we can actually play the stage course for VC to grind VC, not buy VC. This is not the bank. This is not Bank of America. Like, we're not gonna buy VC anyway. God, why can't you even see the course from over here? Like, the big top sign is so big, I can't even see the players. Like, fix that 2K. Like, fix that. And why is this dude running towards me? Why is this dude right behind me? Why is this guy even stalking me? Get him out! Like, why can't this dude take a day off? Like, go to the stage. Like, go to the program. Hit the Vexor and do something. Now you and I both know we are all Jippy outfitters, right? For those of you that does Jippy outfit videos, this ought to be another second problem in the game. For example, two hour set, why is this even a thing? Like, it just about must have done Ronnie TK to get his extreme amount of paychecks rolled in his house before he could get an advertisement in game for his clothing. Like, bro, 7k VC for short, 12k VC for shirt, and 8,000 VC for glasses, a pair of glasses. Like, come on now, the only cheapest thing they have is socks. Plus a dumb arm sleeve. Visitor on Earth. They have gotta have the most expensive shorts I think I've ever seen in my complete life, bro. Why is this stuff so expensive? Same thing here goes to Chinatown Market. They have the expensive t-shirts I think I've ever seen too. Despite me having over 5,000, almost 6K VC, but at the same time, I will not be coming over here expending this much. Over here, we got Spray Drown Backpack. Hey guys, there could be a better way to get backpacks other than just no life in the game for over nine to 10 months of a lifespan to just to get these cool amount of backpacks. 2K, do we really have to join this much just to get a backpack? Just to get a backpack? Bro, I think I have just seen it all, okay? Even if even if, even if 2K generic backpacks are also available if you unlock Superstar 2. Like, do you really have to join this much for a basic backpack that you can just take to school on a daily basis? Like, I'd rather buy a real life backpack than this one. Now, this literally makes no sense. Like, why would it take this extra long for the 2K menu to pop up? Why would Vex on a turn from being fun into being a matchmaking program again? And how can it be this many people packed all in one spot after a game? Do a basic dribble move here, basic dribble move there, that, that. Oh my god, do I really have to do this? Like, nobody, literally nobody, wants to do a shoot around drills automatically from the coach. No! And why would you give me recap totals even if I haven't done nothing? Do you really have to join this mini games just to get jump shot created on that player next time? Like, bro, do you really have to wait until Christmas Day? Just to get jump shot career. That takes an extra long amount of time. That literally wastes my time. Look how many games I played so far, thanks to my corrupted data, by the way, in comparison to how many games I have left in order to get jump shot career to be available. Like, why not just award me in my first game just to get jump shot career? Like, look at this. 2K19 has a certain rep reward. If you hit 75 overall, you automatically get jump shot creator. Why not? Let this be a vet reward the next time on TK21 and then give us a jump shot creator instead of just having to join as many games to get a jump shot creator. How come every once in a while I'm able to go inside the VC sports and management at the same time only once a game because occasionally they let me in for a check but when I come back in there the next game after they won't let me in. That's the major problem. That's literally the biggest comparison in between this year 2K20 with last year, 2K19. So, I get to check out my first game, right? And then the next game after that, I can't go inside, even if they want me. Now, let's look what 2K19 has done, okay? So, they let me up the stairs, right? They let me in the VC Sports Management place. They, I get my first check. I go inside. They check on me, and I check on them back. They give me my check. I am participatingly up for the check. And they gave the check directly to me. And look at this. It even shows me the amount of VC on the exact check. Why couldn't 2K20 do that? Now, we are going to go on to something extremely different. The classic teams I'm playing now. Why do we ever need the 06, 07 Golden State Warriors? Or the 09, 2010 Portland Trailblazers, in my opinion. We don't even need the 2013, 2014 um, Indiana Pacers, because you don't even need to play them as much. We don't even play playing out as much. Just for certain glitches, that's not what I'm not even into, by the way. But still, though, why include some other unnecessary teams where there's others to choose from? Get it together!
Now, I don't know if it's me or my console, but why does it literally take 2 minutes and 19 seconds of your time to load into the park? And this right here is what bothers me the most. Look at how many people comes over here. Look at how many people are running to the other side of the court. Just pay attention. Look at how many people are jumping up to join another court. This is a major problem, 2K. You need to stop this. Take to Interactive. Lonnie, Mike Wayne, do something, okay? Look how many guys are so packed up just to join the court. To even hop in the next spot. Like, look at all this. Look how many people are packed. Are packed. Look at this. Look how many people. How come 2K20 can't let us skip cutscenes going into the mic court? 2K19 one's done that. So why shouldn't this game do that? All right, listen. Do not let the trophies irritate you, okay? Look at look at this shelf. I am literally sick and tired of seeing this trophy shelf for at least two to three years already because it's been the exact same duplicate mic court for the exact three years. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys appreciate this much work I have done to editing this because to tell you the truth, it literally took me almost a long time to get this used to. I'm editing almost a 20 minute video or so like I have never done before. But I hope this doesn't distract you as much as I did because I'm not gonna lie, it literally took me almost all day to get used to this. But I hope you guys will get over it soon and somehow I hope I can just get some rest and then later on just sleep it off, you know what I'm saying? Now like I said before, I always want you guys to keep in mind that this is obviously centered around my opinion. So this is gonna be a, a opinionized oriented video. If that's even a thing, I have no idea. But apparently this is obviously on my opinion, this is obviously my thoughts on why the game is so extremely terrible this year and why I'm, I can't even take this game serious because I'm literally having a hard time having fun because every time I get on the game, it's no longer fun. Like, we got on the game for like a longer amount of years or so, it's no longer fun. So therefore, the extreme momentum that I got since this game came out has officially dried up from now, okay? It literally took me this many months just to get my momentum dried up and I, this is killing my momentum is all I'm saying. All right now, since you guys can't understand me, let me rephrase that. The game pretty much killed my momentum as much as it killed your momentum. That's why I'm making the video. That is the exact description of why I'm making this video. The exact reason. The exact reason. All right guys, that will wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it doesn't take that much time off of your hands. Um, but anyway, let me know down below in the comment section. You, don't, you guys don't have to. If you guys want to, then feel free to do so. Let me know down below your thoughts on the game so far after you played it. Over during the years of the game's lifespan. During your one year lifespan in the game. And yeah, just pretty much let me know down below in the comment section. I appreciate your support. And it's your boy Vile. See you guys in the next video. And I am saying out.